nutritional necessities with the GLPs. So it is key to strive for optimal nutrition with caloric restriction. And a lot of people with these GLPs are having significant caloric restriction. There are nutrients that your body cannot make by itself. And these are called essential nutrients, meaning that it is essential that you replenish these nutrients daily through your diet. And this includes vitamins, minerals, electrolytes, and amino acids. And so when you're on the GLPs, you may not be getting these nutrients in your diet. And so you need to make sure every bite counts. Don't take in any empty calories. So I'm gonna go over my top three essential nutrients that you need. And while all of them are important, I'm gonna go over the three that you may not be as familiar with. So first, let's talk amino acids. You want to optimize your weight reduction by making sure you keep your skeletal muscle mass and you lose that fat mass because it's the fat mass that causes these health problems, including diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So the whole goal is to keep your muscle and lose the fat. And traditionally, I have recommended a high quality supplementation like a whey protein shake that has all of your daily vitamins and minerals and also is high in the high quality protein whey to help uh, with keeping your muscle while you lose the fat. Protein, um, specifically whey protein, is um, great for this traditional method because again, you're getting all your protein in, but also protein is what's called a satiety agent, meaning that it helps you to feel full, which is a goal in traditional methods. However, I'm noticing that it's not helping quite as much with people on the GLPs. And why is this? Because when you're on the GLPs, remember you don't want to eat. You have delayed gastric emptying, your GI system slows down, and a lot of people can't tolerate taking in the entire protein shake. And then you add in the natural properties of the protein like the satiety, and that makes you feel even more full. And so people are having a hard time if they even try to take in the protein shake, they're having a hard time taking in all of it. So it really isn't helping as much if you're not able to tolerate but a small bit of the protein. And this is where amino acids come in. So amino acids are the building blocks of protein and amino acids have been studied in their free form, which is after it's already broken down from the protein and just ingesting the amino acids. There has been a lot of research on amino acids and the research has shown that uh, amino acids highly stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And this stimulation occurs when combined with exercise, um, particularly resistant, resistance exercise, but also aerobic exercise. But it also occurs when you're not exercising. So if you're not able to exercise and you still take in amino acids, it has been shown that that can help maintain your muscle. And remember, we want to at least keep, if not increase, the muscle mass that you already have. The most effective amino acid formulations have all of the essential amino acids in it with a concentration with leucine. These are beneficial over the protein shake for certain conditions with caloric restriction, especially with the GLP ones, because these amino acids can be mixed with only a small amount of water. So you can get all of your amino acids with a lot less volume, which is beneficial when your GI system is slower on the GLPs. You might be able to tolerate more amino acid intake than you would if you were to get the whole whey protein. So it's important to note that amino acid supplementation has not been studied specifically with GLPs and with delayed gastric emptying. So the studies that are done show that when you take in just the amino acids with normal GI function, and again, not on the GLP ones, 
that these amino acids are rapidly absorbed into your bloodstream and this excess of these essential amino acids help synthesize your skeletal muscle because your body has all this excess amino acids in the blood and it's going to preferentially go to your skeletal muscle. This might not be the same case when you have the delayed gastric emptying, meaning that your blood concentration of these amino acids, the level might not be as high since it's not leaving your stomach as quickly. And so this has not yet been studied, so you may not get the exact same amount of muscle protein synthesis with the amino acid supplementation. However, studies have shown that the free form essential amino acid supplementation is well within the safe upper limit um, of repeated daily ingestion, meaning that there are very little side effects with this amino acid supplementation and you should get at least some extra muscle or at least be able to maintain the muscle that you have even if the blood concentrations aren't as elevated as with normal gastric emptying. Even better, if you can tolerate a whey protein shake and then amino acid supplementation throughout the day, a lot of the whey protein supplements have all the daily vitamins and minerals that you need, um, and this would even increase your muscle maintenance and your muscle synthesis even more. In addition to amino acids, certain vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes are key to get in your diet. So most of these vitamins you can actually get with a multivitamin, which you should be taking if you're on the GLPs and are not taking in all the nutrients in your diet. But we're gonna talk B vitamins. So we've all heard of B12, which is in every energy drink because it does help with energy. But there's also a whole lot of other B vitamins that are important. So here's a list of the vitamins. Here's what they help with. And B vitamins are very important for the central nervous system and brain health and proper functioning. So you want to make sure that you're getting in all of these vitamins. How are you going to get in the list of all of these vitamins when you're not taking in enough in your diet? I recommend a B complex vitamin. However, if you're truly deficient in vitamin B12, you may not be able to absorb the oral formulation and you might have to have the injections or you might have to have a sublingual formulation. And lastly, important minerals, again, while they're all important, we're gonna go over magnesium. So it's known that in very low calorie diets without the GLPs, after that adaptation phase, it's not uncommon to have muscle cramps, especially leg cramps, and it's not uncommon to have constipation. So if these are already known side effects of a very low calorie diet, and then you add in the GLPs on top of that, the effects in a lot of people of the constipation um, are just amplified. Magnesium supplementation can help with constipation. It can also help with some of the cramps that you get after your body's already had that initial adaptation phase. And magnesium is very easy to supplement. You can get it with just some milk of magnesia. So in conclusion, it's key to maintain your health during caloric deficit. And there are several nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that your body has to have even when you're in significant caloric restriction. So it's important to pay attention to your diet. It's important to see which ones you're getting, which ones you're not getting, and to take daily supplementation if necessary. Mm -hmm.